For my career, I chose to be a recreational therapist. Recreational therapists work with elderly, mid-aged, and kids. They work in clinical settings, the YMCA, or the rec center. The three options for my career were recreational therapist, personal trainer, and physical therapist. The physical therapist is someone who helps people with workouts or strength exercises to get their bones working or a medical issue so they can get back into sports or an activity. A personal trainer is someone who work, does workouts for people in sports and helps them with their sports and gets them better at it. A recreational therapist is someone who works with mostly older people and helps people in wheelchairs or in fitness classes and exercise classes. The negative part about my job is that you can push too hard on them and make their workout a lot more stressful than it could be. Another negative is that you can't bring them down. You can't add your own stressful problems into their workout because it can really make their workout a lot harder. And another one is you have to always be strict. You can't lean up and you have to always make them finish their workout. You can't just let them quit. You have to try and encourage them to push harder. The positive part about, about my job is that it has pretty good pay with $40,000 per year. It involves sports and health insurance. My annual salary for this career is $40,000 per year, which makes the monthly pay $3,333.33. My student estimate was way off to my current estimate and mostly in everything and my actual budget. And I never realized that rental insurance could cost so cheap. Because for my student estimate, I put $100, but it's really $20 per month. For my pie chart, the discretionary was the most percent that I had at 25%. Discretionary is charity, food, and clothes, and etc. At taxes, I had at 23%. And taxes is mostly your car payment and your medical bill and all the things that you do that you have to pay for the government. My food, housing, and medical insurance was all at 7% at $250 per month. Why my housing was only $250 is because I have two roommates who are Olivia Thompson and Demetriana. My utilities was only at 3% because my apartment comes with gas and electricity and all the furniture that you need. The trade-offs that I had was that I gave up a three-bed apartment, I mean, I gave up a personal apartment so I could have a three-bed apartment. The, uh, why I gave up a personal apartment is because I like spending quality time with people and having someone to have my back through all my difficult decisions I make in life. Okay, the other one that I gave up was Hay State. I gave up Hay State to get Pittsburgh, K Pittsburgh State University. Why I gave up Hay State is because Pittsburgh has a lot better recreation of therapy programs and good communicating classes. And it's where my roommates went, so I wanted to follow them. What I also gave up was a personal trainer to become a recreational therapist. And why I gave up the personal trainer is because personal trainers usually mostly go in mid-age and through sports and fitness. And recreational therapists, they help people do more than that. They help them with exercises, older people, younger kids, and some swimming workouts and all that. The college that I'm attending is Pittsburgh State University. Why I chose these colleges? Because it has good recreation programs and good communicating classes. What I need to become a recreational therapist is a bachelor's degree in recreational therapy and exercise science. The skills that I have for this career is that I'm a very organized person. I am very smart, a good planner, social, and good at communicating. How I've used these skills in the past is because I was a lifeguard at the Aquatic Center in Pittsburgh State in my first year of college. I used my safety skills and communicating skills there, watching people in the pool and communicating with the other lifeguards. Another time I used these skills was at the, because I was an employee at Pittsburgh Park and Recreation. I used my organizing skills and my social skills there. The references that I had for this career was George Green, who is a personal trainer at the YMCA in Newton. I knew him through high school, and he taught me a lot about being a good recreational therapist because I told him that I might want to become a personal trainer, which was my second option. But I chose recreational therapy because I didn't want to just do mid-age people. I wanted to help elderly and kids. The other reference that I had was Sally Putnam. She was a recreational therapist at Pittsburgh Park and Recreation. 
She helped me understand the right classes that I need to take to become the most successful recreational therapist that I can be. For my letter of application, I wrote to Trevor Taylor. He is a recreational therapist at Student Rec Center in Pittsburgh, PA. How I knew him fairly well is because at college, the students went there to go exercise and work. He recognized me and knew that I was a hard worker there whenever I exercised or worked. He told me about becoming a recreational therapist for him earlier in my college years, but I just kind of flew by it. But now that I'm happy, now that I graduated, I accepted his thing and I sent the application to him. I told him my skills, ideas, and background. The five websites that I did was Career Inside Alberta, and it helped me find a career, and also Kiersey, Percy, and Big Future that helped go into deeper facts about my career and help me know the negative and positive. Another thing that helped me was recreation facts. Recreational facts taught me about the pay, the people that I work with, and the places that I work at. And Big Future helped me understand my taxes that would be in there and helped me understand my budget better. The articles that I did was benefits being an outdoor therapist. Why I chose this article is because recreational therapists also work outdoors a lot. They help people in wheelchairs outside and other outdoor exercises. The other one was six, uh, six facts about recreational therapists. It taught me about where they worked and who they worked with. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Any questions?